Hey everyone, welcome back. Hey guys, so today we are going to discuss about the Spring Batch module. It is very important in terms of interview and as well as this module, how to integrate in our e-commerce application. As part of our training, uh, we are explaining about e-commerce application architecture, right? Where we can use this use case, Spring Batch module nothing but batch processing today i'm going to see a lot of theory we have in spring batch if you understand about the spring batch module it will be very easy to implement in our project architecture here i will take the use case also number of use cases we have uh, to implement this module in any project also guys okay so we'll start so as part of the spring batch, we need to understand about concepts uh, to start with our implementation here. What is batch processing? This is about the agenda for the whole spring batch module. It will take two to three sessions also uh, on spring batch module, guys. Okay. Uh, now, what is batch processing? So what does it mean? Why we need batch processing? And what is Spring Batch? Why we need? Why Spring is introduced this module? And we are going to discuss about Spring Batch high level architecture. On the high level, what are the components are available in Spring Batch? In detail, okay, each topic we are going to discuss in detail level discussion. Okay, in-depth tutorial, this is completely, we are going to discuss a lot of uh, things in this module. We are going to take two to three examples also, guys. Okay, common use cases we have. Okay, and spring batch execution flow diagram. And these are all kind of a spring batch architectural components we have. Okay, these are all the topics we are going to discuss also here, guys. Okay, stay tuned. So watch the video completely, guys. Don't miss, don't skip even one topic also. If you miss a single topic, you will not understand the next uh, implementation here. So that's why, guys. Okay, now if you take our e-commerce application architecture, in this e-commerce application architecture, what we have? Like we have a gateway, we have a security, like all the components we have as part of our training already, you know, uh, how to implement this architecture and communication, everything. Now, in this architecture, we have one scenario, like imagine um, as a vendor, okay, suppose if you take a flipkart.com, uh, you are able to see the products, right? So uh, I am a vendor. I want to uh, show my products in the flipkart.com or amazon.com or mintra.com like means sellers i have a products so if you want to purchase a product my product should be displayed on the website i have hundreds of products i have i have a ready made information i have so what you will do normally as a vendor uh, as a admin team they will give one row like a uh, product name product quantity okay how many quantities like the some information uh, we need to give some submit button also we will have like some submit button if you have hundreds of products what you will do 100 times the form should be submitted this is the activity we are doing here like in our e-commerce application what we are doing vendors need to upload their product details like name, description, price, quantity, some data. So if a vendor is uses UI form to submit each product, it will take a lot of time. Hundreds or thousands of products, he need to fill the form. So to solve this problem, we can use a solution, bulk upload solution here. We can take it here. Real-time solution, I mean to say spring batch module means spring batch is a perfect for reading large Excel files or CSV files and inserting data into database efficiently without manual intervention. This is the context here. 
not only lot of use cases we have we taken one use case this use case we are going to implement also here okay now we'll start about now step by step okay a uh, batch processing or core concepts i am going to explain now so that easily you can understand and we can implement in our application also here okay now what is batch processing see batch processing is the execution of series of jobs without manual intervention okay that means there should not be any manual intervention they should not touch any human being it should be automated like series of jobs we have like multiple works means one job is nothing but large volumes of data like millions of records okay lakhs of records available in your csv file okay now reading from csv and storing into database here when we have this type of context we can use for the batch processing here for example real time use cases monthly salary pro uh, processing generating monthly reports data migration between databases etl informatica extracting transforming and loading now they want to store into data into a job into database file to database database to database okay now a file to file lot of things we can implement okay uh, here this is kind of a real time use cases what we have here these are all kind of a bulk operations not like a single operations here that is the meaning of batch processing every month 30th salaries will be processed right it's kind of a bulk operation only here from their database whatever customers we have they will pull whole data and they will process data efficiently to all the customers all the users also here okay now you got some idea about what is batch processing here then what is spring batch see spring batch is a lightweight open source framework open source framework built on top of the spring ecosystem to simplify and automate batch processing task in java applications i know uh, definition is little bit difficult simple to implement batch processing or bulk processing we we have a module called spring batch module we have it is very designed for high volume robust and repeatable data processing reusable fault tolerant lot of functionalities transaction management lot of features job scheduling okay fault to lot of benefits we have using the spring batch module here like as i already told use cases extraction transformation and load etl tool basically this tool they will generate a file from that file i want to store into db maybe you can use spring batch here as a mediator here report generation log or audit data analysis data migration synchronize like a lot of use cases we have in the market we have then why especially spring batch here okay we have uh, first we need to understand about more on the uh, context here then later we can go for step by step all the concepts here okay why spring batch designed for bulk data processing robust and production ready framework integration with spring ecosystem excellent job management features reusable and extensible now each point i am going to discuss in detail so that easily you can understand why spring batch module in resume also you can add this module lot of weightage in your resume also here guys okay now have a look here now first what is the one design for bulk data processing 
means spring batch is built for handling large volume of data efficiently for example reading millions of records from database or csv file or excel file means you need to read the data then what we'll do next step transforming or validating the data you may have invalid records right you may have invalid information on the product details if a product price is zero suppose i mean to say you have a excel file right inside an excel file you given product name as one some product name as a iphone some price i given as a zero this is a invalid record i should not process that is about transforming or validating the data then we need to write back to database or another file so it automates and optimizes batch jobs with minimum manual coding so using spring batch we can achieve this kind of processing also here like a job we can call as a job this is one of the job i want to automate the process here that is the first step guys why spring batch now second now it is a robust and production ready framework what does it mean spring batch take care of all the hard see hard parts of batch processing you should otherwise need to build manually like if you are using spring batch at the time of running your job may fail correct after failing you need to retry your job you want to know job status like success failure i want to know granular level information using this we can restart the job after failure skipping the bad records retrying failed operations tracking the job status and metadata it's like a enterprise level we can use this module also robust and production ready framework okay next integration with ecosystem means already you know easily integrate with the spring boot you can create jobs quickly we can integrate with spring data jpr jdbc and spring cloud for distributed job execution everything we need to uh, configure okay uh, like uh, spring batch configurations we need to take in care here that is about the integration with the spring ecosystem here next excellent job management features like when you are utilizing okay this module in our application it has a built in components we have like we can schedule our jobs automatically you can write you can run as a scheduler okay every 10 minutes i want to run a job okay or I, every one hour or every day night at 2 o'clock i want to do some particular job all the things we can do we can monitor job executions also success failure how much time it taken okay parameterized jobs okay and execution history complete okay it makes to debug your application and maintenance also much more easier uh, using this spring batch module here guys okay that's why spring batch module is very very important lot of benefits we have also here next reusable and extensible means we can reutilize our steps means i mean to say spring batch follow a modular structure you can plug and play however you want like main three components we have reader processor and writer reading the data transforming the data and save the data into database here reading can be a file database 
and writing in your file or a database but the processor logic will be the same here guys okay overall picture if you try to see we can okay use spring batch module large data set processing job failure handling job scheduling logging and monitoring through automatic job metadata tables and integration like it can integrate with spring boot jpa jdbc kafka queues lot of things we have a solution we have if we are using the spring batch module architecture here guys architecture here okay now if you see spring batch architecture this is about your spring batch architecture now if you try to see lot of components we have here one job repository job launcher job step reader processor writer one step may have many executions we have now it will be a difficult to understand when you are viewing this architecture now every component we are spending lot of time what is job launcher what exactly it will do and what is a job how to create a job how to execute okay if anything wrong how we can handle and what is step what are the everything involved this is a high level architecture what components we have in the market now here high level high level each component i'm explaining to you then later we'll start about the first step called job repository here guys job repository here now see here what is a job you want to trigger a job like define the batch process like i want to load a vendor specific product details into database that is some job name you can provide step a unit of work inside a job inside a job i can do multiple steps now step is nothing but some unit of work okay now job launcher means using this component i can start a job job repository whenever you are starting a job i want to see the status whether the job is started or not whether the job is success or not job failure to store de details in database we can use store job metadata job parameters it's kind of a runtime parameters and reader processor and writer every job is tracked by the job repository here which will maintain metadata tables like job instance job execution multiple tables we have to know our application component here okay so that's all for today's session stay tuned if you are interested on next sessions i am expecting subscribe and your comments is very very important in this video guys based on your comments we will take the next session guys we are going to discuss detailed discussion on these components here guys okay so that's all thank you